Well guys, it's a little late now. We're going to have to head on back to shore. Do some uh, feeder fishing, I think. Let's see here. We got to lift her. Now last time we were over... Let's see. Now let's go back over here because we can be close to that hole. But I think I'm going to go over to this side... There is a fishing spot over there. And strategically, it's really good for the deep water. Make sure I'm headed for it. I'm sure you can see where I'm heading for. Shore that's going to shore. Okay, let's see here. What we'll do is we'll go ahead. Let me see. Uh, right in front of me, I've got all this deep stuff. And we're going to take advantage of it if we can. Let's see here. Um, what have I got on this? Whoops, I keep doing that. Too many different games I play. Let's see here. We got corn. We already know that's successful. We'll stick with that. And we want to cast it this way. Good. What do we got on here? Grasshoppers. Alright, let's see what baits we got available to us here. We've got the large bait fish, mollusk pieces. Let's try those. Nope, too heavy. Damn. Too heavy. Let's see. Imitation bait. Well, we can give it a try. Nope, it's too heavy, too. Well, I know that's going to be too heavy, as you can see. Well, let's try a smaller hook, then. Alright, guys. I'm going to try Lava Bark Beetle on here and see... I don't really know what goes for that, honestly. Might as well worth a, be worth a try to see here. Uh, there is a big hole right out that way, though. That I'd like to try. Let's see. There it is. Oh, shoot, and I forgot with this. You have to reel it in. Just a little bit. <laughs> Alright, we got him in the deep water. Let's see. We got some cover over here, some reeds we can try our luck at. Yeah, we're not going to do much with this right now. I think what we'll do is we'll bring in our float rod. Looks like we got red worms, which is always a good choice. Let's 
see if there's anything over there by these reeds. Sounds like we got us a bite, and a good one, too. Holy crap. Which one is it? This one? Actually, I th thought for a minute we had both of them here. Looks like we've got him. I think this was the bark beetle. Or whatever. It was some kind of larvae. No, it's corn. It's corn. I see it now. God, the corn always does do good. We did need some carp. Two kilograms. There's one of our requirements. We'll take him. Right out where we were. Okay. Yeah, there for a minute I thought I had something in both. pull this back out. I'm going to come down here where the lily pads are. Yeah, right over here. I think I'm going to change my bait too. Worms aren't bad, but if the sun was going down, I'd be getting more perch. So that's hooked up small. Lava bark beetles. Let's see, there's tiny, there's small, there's medium. Let's see what I can get on here with medium. I thought I had. Well, let's just go with the bread for right now. getting a bite for quite some time. Might as well get him in because this will mean getting the points and I should be able to get some decent income off of him. because I don't want to lose it. Well, it's a nice bream. One kilogram bream. There we go. Another hundred dollars. And that was off the bark beetle. So that, the bream like the bark beetle. That's interesting. Good to know. Well, originally I was trying to see if I could catch some Xander. I haven't had any luck with the Xander. Apparently the best bait is a jig. I can't get the jig yet. A little bit too costly. Just 
just have to give it a try with what I've got. I have caught them off of this, but it's kind of far and few in between. I've got a better bait that I can try or not. Let me see. That swinging spoon bait would probably attract them. The only problem with that is it's way too heavy. There we go. Finally, we got something interested. Keeps zooming in. So the jumper bait, huh? I don't think the moon being out's helping a little bit too. What the heck do we got? Another grass pike? No, a trout. I'll be darned. Three kilogram trout. But I never guessed that. Wouldn't mind getting a couple of those. I haven't seen anything jump for a while. Sounds like I got something on the bottom rod. Yeah, I better get this in. sure which one it is. I think it's this one. Yep. got here. I think we might have a, a Xander here, guys. <coughs> nope, it's a Wells. It's a Wells. And our net is full. Completely full. Sorry about my microphone there. I didn't mean to bump that. Well, I did get to learn what the lava bark beetles for. Let's go over here and Turn in our fish. Yeah, the wells was two. The trout was 20. 
Jeez. Let's sell all of them. And we are up to 287. That was just from practically nothing just a few minutes ago. Let me see. Let me see if there's anything in here that looks like it might be good for Xander. I think this is the one that's supposed to be good for Xander. This Twist Nord one. Let's see, there's a 3, and there's a 7, and there's a 12. Now, do you have to have, like, a hook for this? Let's go... Let's buy one of each. We'll give them all a try. VOV jumper we've got. We don't have a rod big enough for the 25. That special lure I really would like to be able to try, but this jig atom might be good. I probably do need a jig hook for this. Let me see here. I'm going to look at the hooks here. Hooks. Jig series. And I'm going to go with a smaller of the two. And then I'm going to get a small one as well, just in case I need that. Now let's look at reels, which we definitely need badly. have the weakest of the bunch. <coughs> and that should be that. Now we can kit this up with a decent reel. That means we can put bigger baits on them. Aha! And there we go. Ready, rock and roll. Sounds like we've got a bite, too, on top of everything else. Let's see what we got here, guys. Whatever it is, he's decent size. A lava bark beetle. It's done pretty good. Holy crap, this is a big fish. Whoa, that is the biggest bream I have caught. He is three kilograms. That is a pretty fish. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of The Fisher Online. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.